Good evening, and welcome to Senior Award and Scholarship Night. My name is Dave Ertle, Principal, and I'm honored to begin tonight's program. It is with heavy hearts that we're not sitting together in this Performing Arts Center tonight. The COVID-19 pandemic prevents us from sharing in person this evening. Please know that we're thinking about all of our seniors and their families through this challenging time. However, we hope to brighten your evening a little by awarding honors and money in the form of scholarships. Students, you will receive your certificates, instructions, and necessary paperwork in the mail in the days ahead. Without strong support of caring adults and students, the road to your academic success is much harder. Students, remotely, please join me in a round of applause for those adults that have stood by you and guided your success that we honor here tonight. In fact, reach out and give them a hug tonight. Tonight, we'll have first time scholarships and many scholarships that have been part of this event for decades. Whether the amount is $100 or thousands, each and every one is greatly appreciated. Tonight, nearly a quarter of a million dollars will be given from local groups to assist in our seniors' pursuits of their post-secondary educations. This amount doesn't take into account all the lo local scholarships from individual colleges and various military programs. We couldn't announce all of those in a single evening event, but congratulations to each student who has or will be receiving institutional scholarships. Also, congratulations to our senior members who will be continuing their athletic passions and receiving assistance through athletic scholarships. To the organizations from our community who tirelessly and annually contribute to our scholarship program, thank you. Tonight, we express our deep gratitude to those who generously open doors for assisting financially our students to pursue their post-secondary educations. We also wish to recognize that some of our traditional scholarship organizations had to scale back due to not being able to raise funds this past semester due to COVID-19. Your continual support is greatly appreciated. Congratulations to all that are being recognized and honored here tonight. We're extremely proud of you and your futures are indeed bright. Many of whom have risen above great obstacles in pursuits of their post-secondary educations. Please parents, grandparents, other significant adults remotely join me in a round of applause or how about in a congratulatory hug. Thank you. I wish at this time to recognize Jen Hegstead. Jen coordinates this evening on behalf of our school community. From all of us to you, Jen, thank you for your daily work you provide in career planning for our students and coordinating this wonderful scholarship event, especially this year underneath the COVID situation. So let's begin. I would like to introduce Mrs. Jody Adi and some special recognition awards. Thank you. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I am able to join you tonight to present the Senior Activity Award from the Activities Office. This award is being presented to seniors that participated and or lettered in the same three activities for four years. This award is one that demonstrates commitment, perseverance, and leadership. We are excited and proud to announce this year's recipients. Connor Blymeyer, football, wrestling, and baseball. Kaya Douglas, tennis, fall musical, and knowledge bowl. Lars Heineke, football, swimming, and track and field. Zachary Hennen, soccer, alpine skiing, and tennis. Andrew Johnson, soccer, alpine skiing, and tennis. Grant Kohler, cross country, basketball, and track and field. Jamie Maurer, soccer, alpine skiing, and tennis. Joseph Charlie Schumacher, cross country, wrestling, and track and field. Grace Thion, 
tennis, dance, and track and field. Anthony Walker, fall musical, one act play, and track and field. The next award for, that I will be presenting this evening is the Lions Club Arian Award. Each year, the Lion Club presents an Arian Award to one outstanding senior in the choral department and one outstanding senior in our instrumental department. This is an award for outstanding achievement by high school musicians. These students have gone above and beyond with their contributions to the Chisago Lakes Music Department. Only one member of the vocal music program and one from the instrumental program may receive this award. Selection for this honor is based upon the student's individual contribution to the Chisago Lakes Music Program, outstanding musicianship, performing ability, scholastic standing, and the demonstration of personal qualities in keeping with the school's standards. The name of the Arian Award winners are then sent to the Arian Foundation, and from there, they are forwarded to colleges and universities. It is with a great deal of pleasure that we present the Choral Award to Grethel Villafon Chavez and the Instrumental Award to Leah LaPlante. Congratulations and best of luck in future endeavors. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Amy Malloy for the presentation of honors and highest honors. As we continue our program, we would like to recognize those students who will be graduating with honors and highest honors. The following seniors will be graduating with honors and have achieved an overall cumulative grade point average between 3.5 to a 3.749. These students are recognized by wearing their gold honor cords during graduation. Caitlin Abbott. Paul Dahlstrom. Abigail Dubina. Benjamin Forsberg. William Forsberg. Allison Glenna, Brianna Gorton, Mackenzie Hegstad, Amber Henslick, Adeline Holson, Avery Hahn, Andrew Johnson, Ethan Kavanaugh, Mackenzie Keeney, Leah LaPlante, Carter Leibel, Adam Libke, Ad Andrew Lowe, Claire Meyer, Caitlin Mickasel, Chase Middlestead, Benjamin Morgan, Jackson Nelson, Lillian Pearson, Madison Phillips, Caitlin Pombo, Jonah Schreier, Molly Schreier, Emma Smith, Daniel Strand, Isabella Erhammer, and Luke Willey. The following seniors will be graduating with highest honors and have achieved an overall cumulative grade point average between 3.75 and 4.0. These students are recognized by wearing their purple honor cords during graduation. Bo Backus, Tucker Bakken, Paige Bergquist, Allison Bierman, Brittany Cheney, Jeremy Child, Addison Claren, Grace Claussen, Claire DeVries, Cecilia Dirks, Kaya Douglas, Owen Dressel, Naya Duran, Anna Eggy Kittleson, Elizabeth Godden, Lars Heineke, Zachary Hennon, Kelly Higgins, Patrick Hovey, Jacob Hubbard, Cleo Johnson, Elsa Johnson, Morgan Kiefer, David Kimlinger, Grant Kohler, Elsa Leopold, Zachary Leverton, Elena Molaski, Lucas Morgan, Jamie Maurer, Ruby Norlander, Joshua Olson, Katherine Peterson, Katharina Rempel Ewart, William Sarasic, Grace Thyen, Alyssa Van Ornum, Gretel Villafan Chavez, Kyla Vugdevine, Nathan Wasco, Olivia Wojcik, Jordan Watowitz, and Jesse Zollinger. The following student has achieved an overall cumulative GPA of 4.0 
throughout their high school career. That student is Jordan Watowitz. Our program will continue this evening with recognizing those students who will receive one of our local scholarships. Our first scholarship will be the Chisago Lakes Education Minnesota. Our first scholarship is presented by Chisago Lakes Education Minnesota. Each year, the Chisago Lakes Education Minnesota, Local 7050, group dedicates funds for a scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to a graduating senior who is pursuing a career as an educator. This year's recipient is Lillian Pearson. Lillian will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, where she, she will begin her studies in education. Our next scholarship is the Chisago Lakes High School Music Scholarship. The CLHS Music Department presents the ninth annual Christmas in Chisago Scholarship Concert this past December. Proceeds from this event made it possible to award four $500 scholarships to the students who have participated in the CLHS music programs throughout their high school years. These students have also indicated that they will continue to make music at the collegiate level. The recipients of the ninth annual CLHS music scholarships are for band, Jeremy Child and Lars Heineke, for choir, Macy Davis and Serenity Schaefer. Next, the Don and Joan Academic Achievement Scholarship. The Academic Achievement Award is generously gifted by Chisago Lake's former superintendent, Don Bungham. Each year, Don and his wife, Joan, give a $500 scholarship to those students who have achieved an overall GPA of 4.0 throughout their high school career. This year's scholarship will be given to Jordan Watowitz. Jordan will be attending the University of Minnesota Duluth, where he will begin his studies in business. Next is our Chisago Lakes Youth Football Scholarship. Chisago Lakes Youth Football was organized in 1997 to give school-aged children of the Chisago Lakes area an opportunity to participate in tackle football, the tackle football program that will build skills and talent while providing the opportunity to experience the game in a safe, supervised environment. The many lessons a young person learns from being a part of a team are lessons that can be used throughout their life. This year's recipients of the Chisago Lakes Youth Football Scholarship are Tommy Dubs, Zach Hannon, and David Kimlinger. Tommy Dubs. Tommy played four years in the Chisago Lakes Youth Football, grades three to six. His mom was a team manager and his dad coached four years. Tommy has been accepted and plans to go on to from Vermilion Community College to major in wildlife law enforcement. Zach Hennon. Zach played five years in Chisago Lakes Youth Football, grades fourth through seventh. His brother played three years and his dad helped coach on both those teams for a total of six years. Zach has been accepted to the University of Wisconsin-Madison where he is majoring in electrical engineering. David Kimlinger. David played four years in the Chisago Youth Chisago Lakes Youth Football Association, third through sixth grade. He also has two older brothers who played and four years each, and his dad, Ron, coached all three boys for a total of 12 years in the program. David will be attending the University of Notre Dame, where he is looking to pursue a major in engineering. Next, we have the River Valley, River Valley Swim Club Scholarship. The River Valley Swim Club is a competitive swim club for kids ages 5 to 18 in the Chisago Lakes area. Each year, RVSC awards a scholarship to a club member who has participated in at least two seasons, attended meets, and meets academic guidelines. This year's recipient, recipient is Molly Schreier. Molly will be attending the University of Northwestern in St. Paul to study elementary education. Next, the Hiram Masonic Lodge Scholarship. On behalf of the Hiram Lodge 287 of Lindstrom, Along with Minnesota Masonic Charities, we are pleased to offer two $1,000 scholarships. These scholarships have been made possible through our various fundraisers throughout the year. The following students are selected for the Masonic scholarships based on their shared values and community service. Jeremy Child and Kai Douglas. Jeremy will be attending St. Cloud State University where he will be, where he will be pursuing a degree in computer science slash software. Jeremy will also be completing his Eagle Scout Award and hopes to join the Mason Group and continue his family's tradition in the organization. Kaya will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities to pursue a degree in biology. Her goal with her career is to help others with research and study on many diseases and illnesses that affect our populations. Thank you. Now presenting scholarships, Mr. Jason Thompson.
My first scholarship I'm presenting is Paul No Rock Memorial Scholarship in loving memory of Stephen Stu Peterson. Mr. and Mrs. Mike and Karen Peterson and family, sponsored by the family Peterson Trucking, Peterson Companies, First State Bank of Wyoming, and many other generous contributions. This scholarship is given in memory of Steve Peterson, most known as Stu. Stu was a former Chisago Lakes student, football player, wrestler. He was passionate about sports throughout his school and eventually coached as an adult after receiving his teaching degree from Concordia College. Many students here know the story behind Stu's Rock, which can be found on the north end of the new athletic field. The rock represents Stu's character and his drive to work to, with perseverance until he reached your goals, no matter how impossible they may seem. Stu was diagnosed with brain tumor in April of 2016. From day one, he fought cancer with the same grit and perseverance it took to remove that big stubborn rock from the ground which our new stadium was built on. In, in the spirit of Stu's love for education and sports, his determination is to never give up and always keep fighting. We created an annual scholarship to help a student reach their own goals through the same drive that in Stu embodied. Along the scholarship, with the scholarship certificate, we are providing a card with one of Stu's favorite quotes on it. I want to inspire people. I want someone to look at me and say, because of you, I didn't give up. This card can be used as a bookmark or pinned in a bulletin board, but most importantly, as a reminder to pound the rock, keep going and never give up on, until your goal is achieved. We recognize that the 2020 senior students have faced a hardship no other senior has faced. COVID-19 has impacted every family in different ways. The closure of school year took on so many unknowns and forced these seniors to say goodbye so abruptly without enjoying their final events, celebrations, and gatherings with their fellow classmates. We also recognize that many of these students have spring and summer jobs that, may, that they may not be able to go back to. The last few months of working before college begins is, a crucial, is crucial for getting ready and gearing up for college years in response to this. We will be awarding two students with Pound the Rock Scholarship. This year's Pound the Rock Memorial Scholarships will be given to Owen Dressel and William Ceresic. Owen will be attending South Dakota State University where he will be pursuing a degree in agriculture science. William will be attending Syracuse University where he'll be pursuing a degree in engineering. We are so happy to award each of them with this scholarship to assist them in pounding the rock and reaching that goal. Congratulations, Owen and William, on behalf of the entire Peterson family. The next scholarship, Chisago Lakes Area Knights of Columbus Scholarship. The Knights of Columbus was formed to render financial aid to the community members and their families. It maintains itself as one of the foremost Catholic fraternal subsidy organizations. The, care, the order has helped countless families obtain economic security and stability through its many care programs and through the countless hours of service to its community members by affiliates. The core principles of the Knights are to promote charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. This year's recipients of the Chisago Lakes Area Knights of Columbus Scholarship are Paige Burquist, Morgan Kiefer, Grant Kohler, and Jamie Maurer. The next scholarship, Almalun Threshing Company. The Almond Threshing Show is Minnesota's premier outdoor event for tr classic tractor and vintage farming equipment. This annual event exposes the public of rural communities and traditions. Each year, the show donates funds to support a scholarship to a senior of Chisago Lakes. This, year, this year's recipient threshing company scholarship is Owen Dressel. Owen will be attending South Dakota State University where he'll be pursuing a degree in agriculture science. 
Carl H. and Ruth E. Henriksen Scholarship. This scholarship was created in memory of Henriksen, of the Henriksons who longtime residents of Chisago Lakes area and taught in the district. It was their wish to make a scholarship available each year to a Chisago Lakes senior who will be pursuing a career in education. This year's recipient is Lillian Pearson. The next scholarship, Herb Janger Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Herb Janger. Herb was a longtime physical education teacher and coach within Chisago Lakes. His unconventional approach and unique teaching style was his most endeared, enduring quality. Herb had a true heart for teaching and a passion for helping students and players realize their full potential. This year's winners of the Herb, J Herb Janger Memorial Scholarship is Ethan Thompson. Ethan remembers Mr. Janger as both a friend and a mentor in sports and life. The next scholarship, Margaret A. Page, Peg McCubbin Memorial Scholarship. Peg McCubbin was a longtime volunteer at Chisago Lakes High School where she gave her time and talents to tutor students. A scholarship was set up by her family in remembrance of her dedication to the students of Chisago Lakes. Ms. McCubbin had a passion for helping others. Her main focus was to help students see that they can overcome adversity and become successful. This year's Margaret A. Page Peg McCubbin scholarships will be awarded to Madison Garner and Caitlin Mikesell. Next presenting will be Amy Warren. Hello. The first scholarship I will pre be presenting is the Bob Hansen Memorial Scholarship. Bob Hansen was a former teacher in the Chisago Lakes District from 1967 to 1999. In addition to teaching, Bob thoroughly enjoyed coaching. He was assistant football coach and head wrestling coach. He was dedicated to instilling the ethics of not only being a strong competitor, but to work hard and hold strong sense of pride in one's community. With assistance from the Wrestling Booster Club and their fundraising efforts, the family of Bob Hansen would like to offer two scholarships annually to the graduating class. These scholarships are awarded to outstanding high school seniors who have participated in high school athletics while maintaining academic status and have given time to the community. The Bob Hansen Memorial Athletic Scholarships will be awarded to Paige Bergquist and Lars Heineke. The Mike Lazat Memorial Scholarship. The Chisago Lakes Hockey Association Mike Lazat Memorial Scholarship was created by the Chisago Lakes Hockey Association along with the family of Mike Lazat. Mike was a teacher in the North Branch area who was a very active volunteer coach with the association. This scholarship is given to two graduating seniors who participated in the Chisago Lakes Hockey Association and have demonstrated their talents in the community and back to the association after moving on to the high school level. The recipients of the Mike Lazat Memorial Scholarship are Tucker Bakken, and Anna Eggy Kittleson. Tucker will be attending the University of St. Thomas, and Anna will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My next scholarship is the Lua John Emery Swenson Scholarship. This scholarship is given in the memory of Emery Swenson, who was a longtime supporter of softball and baseball through the Alma Lynn Lions. It is given yearly to a student who has been involved in the sport and will hopefully continue to enjoy this pastime. This year's recipient is Paige Bergquist. Paige has participated in organized softball since a young age, starting with T-ball through her high school years. Next scholarship is the Bobby Sontag Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Bobby Sontag, who attended Chisago Lakes from kindergarten through his senior year. Bobby graduated from Chisago Lakes in 2012 and attended the University of Wisconsin River Falls where he was pursuing a degree in the Dairy Science program. This year's recipient of the Bobby Sontag Memorial Scholarship is David Kimlinger. 
The Sontag family congratulates him on a fine high school career and wishes him all the best in the future. My next scholarship is the Almalon Lions Blaine Hunter Memorial Scholarship. The Blaine Hunter Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of their son, who passed away from a rare lymphoma just before starting his senior year in 2003. The parents of Blaine Hunter, Dale and Chris Hunter, along with the Almalin Lions, are pleased to award the scholarship to Jacob Benzie. Jacob will be attending North Dakota State College of Science, where he will be pursuing an education in mechanic and repair technologies. And next scholarship is the Neva Noid Taylor's Falls Education Scholarship. This scholarship is being given to an outstanding student who shares the same passion and excitement for learning and teaching as Neva Noid. Neva, who retired after 42 years from the Taylor's Falls District in 2011, would like to offer a scholarship in the amount of $500 annually to a student from Chisago Lakes who would like to enter a career in education. In retirement, it is Neva's wish to assist a current graduating senior with their aspirations to become a teacher. This year's recipient is Kennedy Torgerson, who will be attending the Southwest State University. Next up is uh, Mr. Ertl. Thank you, Ms. Malloy. My first scholarship is going to be the Chisago Lakes Arena, Inc. Peter C. Nelson Scholarship. Peter Nelson was a founding member of the Chisago Lakes Arena and original president of the Chisago Lakes Arena, Inc. board. The reality of the Chisago Lakes Arena would not have happened without Pete Nelson. He was one of four who personally signed a bank guarantee backing the original financing of the arena and one of 20 who personally signed the loan for the completed arena facility. Pete in ensured that the arena was designed and erected through volunteers, both physical and financially, and at no cost to the area taxpayers, thus bringing the CL Arena from its inception as an idea through its growth to what stands today as a community asset. Pete Nelson was among the first inductees into the Chisago Lakes High School Hall of Fame and was a dedicated servant of this Chisago Lakes community. The Peter C. Nelson Chisago Lakes Arena Inc. 2020 Scholarship Award is awarded to Jackson C. Nelson. Jackson Nelson will be attending Carthage College in Kenosha, Wisconsin, majoring in biology, pursuing pre-health and physical therapy. Jackson Nelson will also be playing NC2A men's lacrosse for Carthage College. The next scholarship is the Chisago Lakes Arena Scholarship. The Chisago Lakes Arena Inc. is a nonprofit organization that exists to primarily manage, maintain, and operate the Chisago Lakes Arena. It's a multi-purpose facility used by both girls and boys sporting events such as hockey, soccer, tennis, and now lacrosse. In addition, the facility has been used to showcase sports shows, figure, shape, figure skating shows, and other uh, games. The CL Arena Board is proud to have been to award scholarships every year since 1997. This evening, the Arena Board will present two $1,000 scholarships to two Chisago Lake seniors. They will also present re the recipients a copy of the book, What Spirit Can Do, the Chisago Lakes Arena Story. Since the arena was built 29 and a half years ago, mainly by volunteers, we hope this year's winners will take the time to read the book and find value in the spirit of volunteerism as part of their future goals. The recipients of the Chisago Lakes Arena Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 each are Claire DeVries and David Kimlinger. Claire is planning to attend Williams College in Massachusetts where she will play hockey while pursuing her degree in biology. David will attend the University of Notre Dame where he will pursue a major in engineering. The Chisago Lakes Lions Scholarship the Chisago Lakes Lions represent the largest volunteer organization in the world and serves the Chisago Lakes area. We volunteer, or they volunteer, 
to run community events such as the Pancake Breakfast and annual Cadillac Dinner in order to raise funds to help those in our community with sight, hearing, and other needs. One of their missions is to assist youth in the area of pursuing educational options after high school. The mission of the Lions International is we serve. They believe as Lions that we can all serve in the community and around the world to help out each other to make our world a better place. The Chisago Lakes Lions Club is pleased to offer a scholarship annually in the amount of $500 to a Chisago Lakes graduate who embodies these principles and ideals. This year's recipient is Bo Backus. The Taylor's Falls Lions provide many services to the Chisago Lakes area. Each year, the Lions Club of Taylor's Falls awards a scholarship to a graduating senior who represents the principles of the organization. This year, the Taylor's Falls Lions recipient is Lars Heineke. Congratulations, Lars. The next scholarship is sponsored by the Scandia Marine Lions. The Scandia Marine Lions Club is made of members from in and around Scandia and Marine on the St. Croix. With funding efforts, scholarships are granted to students who reside or attend at school in the areas to which they provide. This year, they were able to award two students from Chisago Lakes High School, and they are Kaya Douglas and Grant Kohler. The Muskie Company Foundation Community Support Scholarship. The Muskie Company Foundation Scholarship is given to a student who has displayed a high commitment to the community through volunteerism. This year's recipient is Grace Clausen. Grace will be attending the University Northwestern in St. Paul and pursuing a degree in theological studies. Thank you. Now presenting Ms. Jody Adi. The first scholarship that I will be presenting this evening Lakes Region EMS Community Involvement Scholarship. Lakes Region EMS is a community-based, not-for-profit ambulance service serving Chisago County and surrounding areas. The goal of Lakes Region EMS is to show commitment to premier patient care and dedication to its community. Through the commitment to customer care and dedication to communities that Lake Region EMS uses, funds to help sponsor scholarships to seniors in their covered area. This year's recipient is Mackenzie Keeney. Mackenzie will be attending the College of St. Scholastica and work towards meeting her career goal as a physician's assistant. The next scholarship I will be presenting is the LARA Scholarship. The Lakes Area Recreation Associ Association provides the opportunity for school-aged Chisago Lakes Area children to experience affordable, supervised activities. LARA is a volunteer nonprofit organization with more than 2,000 Lakes Area youth participating every year. Each year, LARA sponsors four scholarships to seniors, seniors who participated in youth sports. Many of these students later volunteered of their time and talents by coaching, refing, and other duties needed to further assist youth in Chisago Lakes participate safely in activities. This year's recipients are Bo Bacchus, Claire DeVries, C.C. Dirks, and David Kimlinger. The next two scholarships are from the St. Croix Regional Medical Center. The St. Croix Regional Medical Center awards student scholarships to those entering the field of medicine. The first group of award scholarships from St. Croix Regional Medical Center is a volunteer organization. The recipients of the volunteer partner scholarships are Kaya Douglas and Bella Yerhammer. The St. Croix Regional Medical Center Partners Group also awards scholarships to students from area high schools. This group has awarded two students from Chisago Lakes. Those students are Kaya Douglas and Bella Urhammer. The next scholarship that I will be presenting, Chisago County Farm Bureau. The Farm Bureau was founded to meet the unique liability insurance needs of farmers. The group has grown to expand to local communities covering both large and small farms. 
Local agencies support scholarships to area seniors who will be pursuing post-secondary education in an agriculturally related field at an accredited institution. The Chisago Lakes Farm Bureau will be awarding Owen Dressel. The next scholarship, Federated Co-ops. Federated Co-ops has established their scholarship program to recognize and reward students that are from their local communities. Their hope is that the students that receive these scholarships will leverage these dollars to pursue an education that will enhance the future of our local communities. The recipients of the Federated Co-ops scholarship are Grant Kohler and William Soresic. The next scholarship, East Central Energy. East Central Energy's commitment to community began in 1936 when neighbors banded together to bring electricity to rural areas. Each year, ECE awards scholarships to area graduating students to assist with their college education. Families of the students need to be members of the East Central Energy. By taking some of the physical pressure off you and your family, ECE hopes that the same sense of community travels with you as you pursue, pursue your dreams. Like your parents and educators, ECE is excited to see all the amazing things you accomplish in the future. On behalf of your local electric cooperative, good luck to you in your future endeavors. This year's ECE awards the following students. Brenna Gorton and Lars Heineke. Thank you. Now presenting Miss Alyssa Chowdhury. The Chisago Lakes Education Foundation Scholarship. Chisago Lakes Education Foundation is a private nonprofit foundation that was created in 1982. The purpose of the foundation is to raise money and award scholarships to graduating seniors in District 2144. CLEF is the local scholarship of the National Dollars for Scholars organization who provides the selection process for the scholarship awards. Selection is based on academic achievement, volunteerism and community, involvement in school activities, and personal recommendations. Chisago Lakes Education Foundation would like to thank all of our private donors and business supporters for their generous donation of over $20,000 to be awarded to the class of 2020 this evening. With this year's donations, CLAP has awarded more than $450,000 in scholarships over the past 38 years. Our first scholarships are given from the fundraising efforts of the Chisago Lakes Education Foundation. All funds are from private community neighbors. This year, four students will be given a Chisago Lakes Education Foundation scholarship. They are Jacob Bensey, Cecilia Dirks, Zachary Hennon, and Jacob Hubbard. The Fred Langenfeld Scholarship. Fred Langenfeld was a longtime CLEF member and in his memory, a scholarship was created. Fred was a big supporter of the Chisago Lake School System and with his support, a bond was issued that resulted in the construction of the Performing Arts Center. The recipient of the Langenfeld Scholarship is Katie Rempel Ewart. Katie will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities where she will begin her educational goals of entering veterinarian science. The Bertha Anderson Art Award. The Bertha Anderson Art and Theater Scholarship is funded by a generous donation made in 1989 by Earl Anderson and his wife Bertha. The couple were farmers in the Chisago Lakes Township and Earl served on the town board for many years as chairman. Bertha was a painter and artist and requested one scholarship be given to a student who enjoys the arts. The recipient of the Bertha Anderson Art and Theater Scholarship is Ilsa Johnson. Ilsa will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee where she will be pursuing a degree in film. Each year, the Chisago City Fire Department gives a scholarship to a student who has grown up in the Chisago City area. The recipient of the Chisago City Fire Department Scholarship is Zach Mueller. Zach will be attending Century College. The Lee Verne Peterson Memorial Scholarship. Lee Verne Peterson was a life lifelong resident of the Chisago Lakes area and a graduate of Chisago Lakes. 
He served the residents of Center City as a chief for 29 years and firefighter for 35 years. This scholarship is granted annually in his memory and his devotion to the community. This year's recipient of the Lee Vern Peterson Memorial Scholarship is William Sarasic. William's family have been longtime residents of Center City and have, been, and have given back greatly to their community. And now presenting scholarships, Mr. Carter Vogt. Next we have Hazelton Betty Ford Health Scholarships. The Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation is an addiction treatment and advocacy organization dedicated to restoring the health of its patients. As a community partner of Chisago Lakes, the foundation annually gives four scholarships to those students entering into the medical field. This year's recipients of the Hazelton Betty Ford Scholarships are Violet Doolittle, Kaya Douglas, Kelly Higgins, and Grace Thion. Next, we have the Bayview Dental Scholarship. Bayview Dental, located in Center City, offers a scholarship to a student interested in entering the medical field. Bayview Dental has been a part of the Chisago Lakes area for years, serving patients of all ages. This year's Bayview Dental Scholarship is presented to Cameron Bell. Cameron will, be, will begin his studies in physical therapy while attending the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. Next, we have the Paul Noreen Good Neighbor Scholarship. The Paul Noreen Good Neighbor Scholarship is given in memory of Paul Noreen. Paul was a lifetime resident of the Chisago Lakes area, a fixture at the Swedish Inn, and was always seen riding his bike around Lindstrom. Paul never had any children of his own, but as a 20-year employee of the Chisago Lakes Middle School, he always knew the importance of a child's formal education. Always lending a helping hand to family and friends, Paul received the WCCO Good Neighbor Award shortly before his death in the fall of 2000. This scholarship has a community service emphasis because of this. This year's recipients of the Good Neighbor Scholarship are Grace Claussen and Elizabeth Godden. Next, the Chisago Lakes Rotary Club Scholarship. The Rotary organization cons consists of business professionals and community leaders that volunteer time, talent, and resources in order to remedy vital community needs. This year's recipient of the Rotary Scholarship is Madison Garner. Madison has given much to the Chisago Lakes community by volunteering with FFA and other school organizations. Next is the Pheasants Forever Scholarship. Pheasants Forever focuses, focuses on the protection and enhancement of pheasants and other wildlife through it in habitat improvement, management, and education. The goal of Pheasants Forever is the cons conservation of habitat and youth education programs. This year's recipients of the Pheasants Forever Scholarships are Thomas Dubbs and Mackenzie Hegstead. Tommy will be attending Vermilion Community College where he will pursue a career in wildlife law enforcement. Mackenzie will be attending Montana State University where she will be pursuing a degree in wildlife conservation. Next, we have the Chisago Lakes Parent Teacher Organization Scholarship. The Chisago Lakes Parents for Teachers Organization awards two scholarships to students who have attended Chisago Lakes Elementary Schools. This year's recipients are David Kimlinger and Katherine Peterson. Both students attended the Old Lakeside Elementary and are longtime residents of the Chisago Lakes area. Next, presenting scholarships, we have Jason Thompson. My first scholarship, Taylor's Falls Parents for Education. The Taylor's Falls Parents for Education mission is to support the educational and recreational needs of students by enhancing facilities and opportunities for Taylor's Falls Elementary students that are not otherwise provided for in the school budget. This year's recipient of the Taylor's Falls Parents for Education Scholarship is Allison Glenna. Allison will be pursuing a degree in elementary education at the University of Wisconsin River Falls. Next scholarship, Taylor's Falls School Foundation Scholarship. The Taylor's Falls Foundation provides funding opportunities for Taylor's Falls areas through its alumni events and fundraising efforts. As a part of their giving back, the foundation provides scholarships to students of the area. This year's recipients of the Taylor's Falls School Foundation Scholarships are 
Anna Eggie Kittleson and Lars Heineke. Both Anna and Lars attended Taylor's Falls Elementary. Taylor's Falls School Foundation Dwayne Olson Memorial Scholarship. In addition to the two scholarships given under the foundation, a third scholarship is given this year in memorial in memory of Dwayne Olson. Dwayne was charter member of and founder of Taylor's Falls School Funda Foundation. He was also inducted in the Chisago Lakes Hall of Fame this past year. The first Dwayne Olson Taylor's Falls Foundation Memorial Scholarship is given to Paige Burquist. Paige, like Dwayne, has many athletic and academic accolades. Next scholarship is the Bank Scholarships for 2020. In addition to many community organizations who have given scholarships for the class of 2020, our local area banks have also donated funds for scholarships. The first award comes from the First State Bank of Wyoming. The First State Bank of Wyoming scholarship will be awarded to Nathan Wasco. Nathan will be attending the Minnesota State Mankato where he will be pursuing a degree in sports management. Lakes Area Bank Scholarship will be awarded to Grethel Villafan Chavez. Grethel will be attending the University of Michigan Ann Arbor where she'll be pursuing a degree in engineering. Midwest One will be awarding a scholarship to Cleo Johnson. Cleo will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities where she will combine her studies in psychology and business pursuing a career in business psychology. The Security State Bank of Marine Scholarship will be awarded to Grant Kohler. On behalf of our local banking facilities, we would like to express our appreciation and congratulations to all of the graduating seniors and their families for all the hard work that has gone into reaching this point in their high school careers. We celebrate your accomplishments with you even in these trying times. We wish you all the very best in what promises to be a brighter future. Logi Solve Technology Consulting Group annually gives two scholarships to students looking to enter the information management field or other related fields. This year's recipient of the Logi Solve Scholarship are Morgan Kiefer and Jonah Shriver. Morgan will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities studying engineering. Jonah will be attending the University of Wisconsin Madison where he'll be pursuing a career in MIS, Management Information Systems. The next scholarships will be the Franz E. and Mertris C. Moody Memorial Scholarship. This is presented by Rich Frankson. The Chisago Lakes Education Foundation is pleased to present the Franz and Matrice Moody Scholarship. A total of 15 scholarships are being awarded this year in memory of Franz and Matrice Moody. The Chisago Lakes area was always a special place for the couple and in appreciation to the community, it was their wish to make scholarships available to graduating seniors of the Chisago Lakes High School. At this time, the recipients of the Franz Matrice Moody Scholarship will be announced. Paige Burquist, Kaya Douglas, Naya Duran, Anna Eggie Kittleson, Elizabeth Godden, Mackenzie Hexted, Kelly Higgins, Morgan Kiefer, Grant Kohler, Amik Redlin, Tate Redlin, Kaylin Schmitz, Grace Thyen, Grethel Villafan Chavez, and Jordan Wotowitz. Thank you. And that will conclude our awards and scholarship program this evening. Thank you for virtually tuning in to the class of 2020's award and scholarship ceremony. A formal listing 
of all scholarship recipients will be made available and mailed out to the students' homes after this evening's program. Thank you and take care.